everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. It's Whip Wednesday and I just wanted to hop on here and say hi to everyone and instead of doing an update video, I wanted to share another stitch video. Um, this is episode number eight of our stitch gallery and glossary. It is the basket weave stitch. Now the stitches that I'm sharing in these episodes for the stitch gallery and glossary are just, um, if you're a crocheter, it's just a refresher for those of you who are expert crocheters out there. And for those of you who are beginners or new to our page welcome first of all but secondly you can learn from these stitch videos the, the different uh, basic stitches and learning different patterns and expanding your crochet knowledge so I wanted to share today's video in the basket weave stitch and it is um, a stitch that is really cool looking they look like picnic basket style and you can actually use the basket weave stitch in many different projects like scarves blankets hats i've actually made a hat a baby hat using the basket weave stitch and i made a really chunky blanket um, using really bulky yarn and using the basket weave stitch as well so i'll share all these links in the description of this video so you can check out those patterns um, and then if you've seen my other episodes that's awesome thank you for watching but I will link all those episodes in the description of this video as well so you can see all the stitch gallery and glossary uh, photos and videos of different stitches that you can learn. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I will update everyone next week. Nasser will be two months old. <laughs> oh my gosh, how exciting. He's growing so big. So um, And then I also have some projects on my hook that I hope to finish by next week and show you. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week and uh, happy hooking! Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. This is episode 8 of our Stitch Gallery and Glossary. Today we're going to be learning the basket weave stitch. I'm going to teach you front post and back post stitches in making a basket weave design in crochet. So that's what we're going to learn. This is The supplies you're going to need is just yarn and a crochet hook. Very simple. The crochet hook I am using today is by the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. It is a hand carved ergonomic wooden handled hook and it is super fancy and you can you know hold it this way and that way and it's very comfortable uh, very good for those of you who have arthritis like me so this is really nice you can crochet for hours on end I love it you're also going to need some yarn I'm using creme de la creme yarn thanks to Red Heart Yarn for providing this yarn today this is hundred percent cotton I will put the link in the description of this video for this cotton yarn it's really soft and actually nicer than some of the other cotton yarns I've used and I'll put a link to this hook as well so you can get these supplies on online. Now for the basket weave stitch, let's get right into learning. We are going to need to chain an amount that is in a multiple of eight. I have already chained an amount here. If you need to learn how to do a slip knot and a chain, you can watch episodes one through five of our stitch gallery and glossary. But I just chained 24, which is a multiple of eight. Okay, and we are just going to get right into it. So for row one, we are going to, let's see here, it says double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as anything. So count one, two, three, and four. This chain right here, and if you've seen my other episodes, you'll know I like to turn my chain toward me and work in the back ridges of the chain there. So yarn over go into the fourth chain from the hook right here okay then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops so we're just going to double crochet across this whole chain so yarn over go into the next yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops Okay, so row one is quite simple in the basket weave design. We are just double crocheting across our chain. If I'm going a little too fast, you can check out episode three to learn how to double crochet. I go much slower in there, but I'm just going to double crochet across here. And then when I get to row two, I'll meet you up and we'll go on to making our front and back post stitches. 
All right, this is what your work should look like. Just simple double crochets all the way across for row one. So let's go on to row two. Let's chain up three. One, here's two and three. And that is going to count as our first double crochet of our next row. So let's turn our work around. And now this chain of three here is counted as our double crochet, so it's basically worked into this stitch right here, this first stitch. So we don't have to work in there at all. So what we're going to do is front post double crochet around this next stitch right here. So yarn over, go on this side of the stitch, okay, right here, around it to this side, just like that. Then yarn over with your yarn here, pull it through just like that. Then yarn over and pull through two of the loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through those other two loops. And there you have a front post double crochet. So we have to front post double crochet on the next four stitches. So that was one. So let's do this one here, yarn over go on this side of the stitch, around it like so, yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. And there's our next one, just like that. Okay, again, yarn over, go around the next stitch from the front, around it just like that, yarn over and pull that through, then yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, so there's our third one. We have to do one more. Yarn over, go around this next one from this side of it, around it, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. And there you have four front post double crochets in a row, just like that. Lovely. Now we're going to back post double crochet on the next four stitches. And we'll just alternate those two then. So a back post double crochet is just working from the back of your work. So yarn over, okay? Go behind your work, okay? Between these two stitches right here. I'm gonna go around this next post right here, around it, so insert it from the back of your work, around this next post, back to the back of your work, and then yarn over like that and pull it through. Okay, just like that. Looks good. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. And there you have a back post double crochet. Okay, I'll show you again. We have to do four of those in a row. So that was one. So yarn over, go behind the next uh, double crochet stitch right here, around the post, then yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through these other two loops. Okay, just like that. Again, yarn over, go behind the work, around the stitch, yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and pull through two of the loops, yarn over and pull through those other two loops. So there's three and one more here, back post double crochet. Fabulous. All right, so now we're just going to alternate these two stitches all the way across. So we're going to do four front post double crochets next, and then after that, four back post double crochets. And you'll start to see the basket weave design. Um, actually, we won't actually see the full basket weave design until we get through our eight rows. So let's go on to this next step. We're going to do front post double crochets around the next four stitches. So I'm gonna go a little faster now if you need to, you can rewind this to see how to do the front post double crochet stitches. Uh, I went a little slower earlier. But we're just gonna do four of these in a row, just like that. 
Okay, and then we're going to do four back post double crochets in a row. Okay, now don't miss any posts or any stitches, so make sure you get all of your stitches in there. So there's one. Back posting now, here's two. Here's three. And four. Now we want to end this row with four front post double crochets on our last four stitches here. And then we have to also put an extra stitch and I will show you as soon as I get there. And once you, you know, practice the stitch you'll be able to go a little faster and perfect it. It's a lot of fun. There we go. So there's our row. So now we actually have this turning chain. Don't lose that. That's back here. It's a chain up three. One, two, three. Right at the top is that third chain. We are going to double crochet, just a regular double crochet in there. So yarn over, go into that front and back loop there. Then yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two. So a regular double crochet in the turning chain. Don't forget that because we will be doing that in our uh, rows uh, following this. So there's row two. Okay, you can start to see the dimension. It looks really good. So let's go right into row three. We're gonna chain up three. One, two, and three. And again, that's just like row two where that chain up three counts as a double crochet. I'm turning my work around now and we are going to front post double crochet. Let's see here. I'm sorry. We're going to back post double crochet now on these stitches. So this chain up three is worked into this stitch right here. So we do not have to work anything in there. So let's go to this stitch right here next and we're going to do a back post double crochet. So yarn over, go behind your work this time around this stitch and make your back post double crochet. Pull through two and pull through two. So if you have to do four of those because we're going to do them on each of these four stitches Okay, and when you turn your work, these actually do look like back post double crochets here now. Because and in the previous row, they were front post double crochets, but when you turn your work around, they look like back post stitches. So we're just going to put back post double crochets on each of these for row three. What, on each of these first four stitches, I should say. And then on the next four stitches, we're going to put front post double crochets. And this is considered the back of your work. So when you're on an odd numbered row, that is considered the back of your work. You won't, I mean, you won't really see the full design um, unless you turn it to the front of your work, which would be shown here. Sorry, there you go. So anyway, going on to the next step, these next four stitches will have a uh, back post double crochet on those right? No, front posts. You're going to front post on the front posts and back posts on the back posts. I don't want to confuse you. You can check out, also I have written instructions next to the video on my website too, so you can follow along there. So yarn over, we're doing front post now, so we're going to go around from the front, so insert your hook into the front around this next post here, just like that. Yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two so there's a front post so we're doing front post on these next four stitches okay and we're just alternating these two you know front post and back post stitches but just on their um, similar stitching if that makes sense I guess just visually you can see we're doing, it looks like those were, those are front post stitches here from row two, but actually from row two, if you look back, those were actually back post stitches that we made, okay? But this is row three we're working on now, and we have to make front post stitches on those right there, 
Okay, so now we're gonna go back to doing back post stitches. So yarn over, go around to the back, to the next four stitches we're gonna do a back post double crochet. So one, let me get some more yarn here. Here's two. Here's three. And four. All right, so I have just a couple more sections left. I just have this section and this section left. So I'm just gonna do uh, my next four are going to be front post double crochets and then these last four are going to be back post double crochets. So I'll do that and then I'll meet you up at the end of this row and we'll go on to row four. All right, so I just did these two sections here, front post double crochets on those four and back post double crochets on these last four. And we have our turning chain here, one, two, three, that third chain we're going to double crochet. So yarn over, go into the front and back loop of that. Then yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two for a regular double crochet in the turning chain. Now we can go on to row four, so let's chain up three, one, two, and three, and then turn the work around, okay? So this is very similar to how we worked row two. We're going to work a front post double crochet on these first four stitches, okay? Skipping this first one right here because this chain of three is counted as a stitch and it's worked into this first stitch here. So let's work a front post double crochet around each one of these next four stitches. So yarn over, go in the front, around it, just like that. Yarn over, pull through yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, and just like those previous rows, I showed you how to do the front post double crochet. I am going to go a tad faster. If you need to, you can always pause this till you catch up. Okay, so we have four front post double crochets in a row there. Awesome. Then we are going to back post double crochet around the post of the each of the next four stitches. So yarn over, go from the back of your work around this next stitch right here. Then yarn over and pull that through. And then yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over and pull through two. Okay. Again going from the back of the work okay yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so there's two there's three and four Okay, so just repeat that all the way across now. So on these next four stitches, we're gonna do front post double crochets, and then on the back on these next two, or I'm sorry, the next four, we're gonna do the back post double crochet, and then we're ending these last four with the front post double crochet stitches, and then I'll meet you up, we'll double crochet in that last stitch, and we'll go on to we have to go on somehow to make this basket weave design. <laughs> All right, finishing row four here. This is row, uh, right? One, two, three, four. Yes, row four. We're going to double crochet in this beginning turning chain down here. So in our last stitch right here, we're going to just double crochet in there. Just like that. Awesome. So now we have established this part here. Now if you want to, you can repeat rows three and four to make... Uh, this, you know, this part, this design, having this as long as you want. But I'm going to end here and we are going to make the basket weave now making opposite rows when we turn our work. And I'll explain that right now. We are going to chain up three, one, 
two and three, turn the work around, going on to row five now, we are going to, instead of back post double crocheting now, because it's an odd row and we're supposed to back post double crochet, like I said, we're actually going to front post double crochet now. So we're doing opposite. So yarn over, okay, skip this first stitch because this chain of three is worked in there. So yarn over, go around this next stitch from the front now, okay? Even though it looks like a back post stitch and we have to do back post stitches on back post stitches, we're actually going to do a front post double crochet around this stitch now. Okay, around these first four stitches. Okay, so we're, we're basically repeating row four. If you look at the instructions, it says to repeat row four. So front post double crochet on these first four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Okay. It's going to look weird and backwards, <laughs> just like that, but that's where the basket weave design comes in. So now, on these next four, since they're front post double crochets, we are going to change up the game and make back post double crochets on these next four stitches. Okay, and just remember, back post double crochets, yarn over, go from the back of your work around the stitch, around the post of it, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay? And once you practice these stitches and do many of these basket weave designs and stitches, you'll definitely perfect this and master it, and it'll become faster and faster for you. Now, on these next four stitches, we're just going to repeat that sequence, okay, of these eight stitches. We're just going to do four front post double crochets and four back post double crochets. And this is row five, so we're going to do that only for row five. And then at row six, I will meet you up because we're, it's going to then now be a more of a basket weave look. And you can, you can already start to see it at this point here. This will start to look like it's weaving in and out and this will look like it's, you can already see it's kind of looking like it's weaving in and out. So cool design, we're getting there and I will do this for the next, you know, four stitches. We're doing front post double crochets and then the next four stitches are back post double crochets and the next four back here are front post double crochets. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll meet you up at the end of this row. All right, just remember to double crochet in this turning chain right here. Okay, one, two, three, this third chain there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two, okay? So now we can go on to row six. We are now going to change our direction here. Let's chain up three. One, two, and three. Turn the work around. Alright, so for round six we are going to back post double crochet on these first four stitches right here. Okay, ignore this first stitch because again that chain of three counts and I said that already. So now these next four stitches here are going to get back post double crochets. Okay, so do back post double crochets on these next four stitches. I'm going a little faster because again, this is just the design now. You know how to do back and front post stitches by now if you've been practicing here. Perfect. There's four back post double crochets. Now on these next four, we're going to do front post double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, then the next four are going to get back post double crochets, the next four after that are going to get front post double crochets, and then these next four are going to get back post double crochets. So do that for row six, and then I'll meet you up for row seven. Don't forget to double crochet into this last turning chain. Just put a regular double crochet in there. 
Okay, and now you can really start to see the basket weave is coming together really nicely. So now row seven is a repeat of row five. So let's chain up three. And if you want to rewind this to see what I did for row five, we are going to front post double crochet on these next four stitches here that look like front post stitches. So we're just going to front post double crochet on those. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to back post double crochet on the next four stitches. They actually look like back post stitches from this angle. So we're going to back post double crochet on the next four. And just repeat that sequence all the way across. So front post on four and back post on four. Then front post on four and back post. Obviously back post double crochet. <laughs> I'm doing double crochet stitches. We're doing front post on these next four and then back post double crochets on the next four. And just repeat that all the way across your piece, whatever you're making. If you're making a dishcloth or a blanket or a scarf or whatever. Just continue this all the way across here. And then when I get up to the end here, I'll meet you up and we'll go on to row eight. And I'm just double crocheting in my turning chain to finish this row. And now going on to row eight here, this is what your work should look like. You can start to see that weaving look. Row eight is a repeat of row six. So let's chain up three turn our work around. We are going to back post double crochet around these next four stitches and then front post double crochet around the next four stitches and just repeat that all the way across. So we're just going opposite. When we turn our work we're doing opposite of what the row was before it. Okay, So now we're doing that. After row eight we are going to go back and um, repeat then rows two, three, four, and then actually add another row. So you want four rows of each um, types here. So there's rows one, two, three, four sections for this one, and then four sections for this one. Let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's like fours on this whole pattern. And four is my favorite number, so that's awesome. It's very easy and almost mindless once you get the hang of it, you know, just counting by fours. So we're doing now this is front post double crochets on these four. So then these next four will have back post double crochets on them. Then the next four will have front post double crochets on them. And these last four here will have back post uh, double crochets on those. And then I'll meet you up when I'm double crocheting in there in that last chain, turning chain. And then we'll switch it up for row nine. Alright, just double crocheting in this last turning chain here. Just like that. Now row nine, we are going to switch it up. So let's chain up three, turn our work, and instead of doing front post double crochets on these first four stitches, we are going to do back posts. So yarn over, go around here, just like this, and make a back post double crochets, okay, on these first four stitches. And that's just how you do it. Then that's the pattern. So then these next four rows will be basically a repeat of rows two through two, three, four. Okay, two, three, and four. This row nine is just this changing up here. So now we're doing front post stitches on these next four stitches. And then the next four stitches will have back post stitches. And then the next four stitches will have front post stitches. Just alternate them now, changing it up. And you can see that woven look in there. It looks really good. This is so cool. So I actually have never done like a flat piece like this. I don't think so. But I've done a hat of 
um, the basket weave baby hat I have done. You can check that pattern out on yarnutopia.com. We're actually working in uh, around, working around the hat with a basket weave. So you can check that out on yarnutopia.com. But this actually, making things like this um, flat in rows and working back and forth in rows like this is super fabulous. You can make dish rags. I'm using cotton yarn, so I'm thinking dish rags right now, <laughs> uh, dish cloths. But um, you can make this into a, a nice fancy blanket, a throw blanket, a nice scarf. Oh my gosh, there's so many possibilities with this type of stitch. I absolutely love this stitch. I should do more projects on this. My mind is like going crazy insane. So that's that's basically it. I mean, if you have questions about this stitch and want to keep going and are confused, you can always write me on Facebook, on my website, just leave a comment uh, in the on this post or um, wherever you can message me, send me a comment on YouTube here and I will try to answer all your questions but that is the crocodile stitch or I'm sorry the crocodile stitch I'm looking at my notes episode 7 was the crocodile stitch go check that out by the way um, but this is the basket weave stitch and this is episode 8 of our stitch gallery and glossary so now all you need to do after row 9 is just repeat rows 2, 3, and 4, and then just go on to making rows 5, 6, 7, and 8, okay? So basically just repeat rows 2 through 9 from here on out, and you will have the lovely basket weave. So if you need to, just rewind this and check that out, or check out the written instructions by this video on the page for the Stitch Gallery and Glossary. So there it is. Thank you so much for watching and check out Yarn Utopia for free video guides on how to do more easy to complex stitches like this one. And while you're there, check out my other patterns and hit the support button on the right hand sidebar. You can support Yarn Utopia so we can continue making these videos and sharing them for free to you. Uh, this is clear quality crochet content thanks to my dad over behind my shoulder <laughs> zooming in and out and checking making sure you can see all these stitches correctly so a big thanks to him subscribe to our channel and I will see you next time happy hooking